Fremantle skipper Nat Fife put on a midfield masterclass as the Dockers paid tribute to Shane Yaron with a 54-point demolition of the Western Bulldogs at Optus Stadium. Fife collected a career-high 43 disposals, tallied 13 clearances and booted a goal in Saturday night's 16.12, 108-8.6, 54, route in front of 43,056 fans. Goal sneak Michael Walters was dominant with five majors, while Ruckman Aaron Sandlin's 53 hitouts ensured Fremantle easily won the midfield battle. Fremantle were rocked on the eve of the match by the death of Yaron at the age of 28. Childhood friend Walters paid tribute to Jaron by pointing to the sky and tapping his black armband after booting his first goal. After the match, Dockers coach Ross Leone described Yaron's death as sad and heartbreaking, saying it put everything into perspective. Yaron played six games for the Dockers in 2016 before off-field problems ended his AFL career. It's been a difficult 24 hours for our football club and WA football, Leon said. It was a difficult night, particularly for our Noongar and Aboriginal players. It's been quite sobering to come here today. It highlights just how fragile things can be. We're not machines, and there was some people feeling it tonight. It was important tonight that we played well. The win came at a cost to the Dockers, who lost key forward Matt Taverner to a broken metatarsal in his left foot in the opening term. Taverner had taken five marks and booted one goal up until that point, but he could be sidelined for months. Bulldogs veteran Tory Dixon is also facing a stint on the sidelines after tearing his left hamstring. Defender Aaron Naughton bravely returned to the field in the last quarter after copping a knee to the face from her teammate. The Bulldogs had shown good fight over the past fortnight against Essendon and Sydney but fell in a heap against the Dockers, who are fielding five first-year players. Ugly errors and bad decision-making haunted the Bulldogs, who slumped to 1-4 and face a second straight season without finals action after their 2016 Premiership triumph. It's just a deflating experience tonight, Bulldogs coach Luke Beveridge said, We had a couple of reasonable weeks where we played some good footy and unfortunately the key ingredients to those performances, pretty much the fundamentals of our game, went missing. Bulldogs forward Tom Boyd finished with two goals from seven disposals in his first match of the year. Fife was a star, both in the dry and the wet. When rain tumbled during the second quarter, Fife tallied 12 disposals and 4 clearances as he chases a second Brownlow medal. Fremantle booted 6 goals to 1 in the third term to open up a 50-point lead, with the dogs showing little fight for most of the match.